Okay, first fish. Okay, thank you. Fried egg and fried chicken. So this is our catches for the day. Good morning folks, this is Jay Chen TV. Today we're doing something very very different. As you can see, the landscape is very different. This is not my usual kayak, but I'm a, on a Hobi Outback. Um, I actually came to Singapore, away from the cold winters in Minnesota. Uh, in a tropical place. Uh, this is actually my home. This is actually my birthplace. Doing some kayak fishing with uh, fellow sea kayakers. We have Gavin on that side and he's bringing me out to Passeries Beach to do some sea fishing. And then his friend Amos is right in front. So let's see, right? Uh, so far the experience has been good on the Hobie Outback. Uh, my first ever foot paddle kayak. So let's see if we catch anything today. All right, folks, stay tuned. I'm actually helped by this nice uncle, uh, Uncle Fu. He runs a small home business, renting out kayaks to people who wish to do kayak fishing or just simply kayaking uh, on the Pasquis area in Singapore. You might want to check him out. Uh, if you are into kayaking or kayak fishing in Singapore. So folks, we are right next to the Kelong and I've dropped my line inside here. Starting off with a live shrimp, uh, hook on a an upload rig. So it seems like the Kelong over here close to the Pastoris beach is not producing. Uh, three of us have not got any bites. Uh, saw some small fish, you know, but that's not what we are here for. We hope to get some, uh, you know, bigger ones crossing the streets because uh, uh, they do frequent this place. So, as small little kayaks, we don't want to get into their way. So far, so good. It's actually very easy to manage the kayak, yeah. Yeah, very choppy, right? Uh, I was looking at the weather forecast, it's about 4 to 5 miles per hour, so very, very calm. I paddled in 20 miles per hour before. Very, very choppy. Did you get any bites there on that side of the Kelong? Oh, you got a catfish. Nice. Did you keep it or you put it back? Oh, <laughs> I see. No. Spikes, ah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Oh, see there. Okay, okay. MJ. Oh. Yay, first fish. <laughs> MJ, MJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't have string, uh. can I long pang on your string? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, steady, steady. Oh, first fish. My first trip here. Good eating fish, man. Yeah, my father will be happy, man. It's a good size, too. You need to remove the net. Yeah, thank you. So, just a quick recap of what happened. Uh, we just came to this new K-Long here on the other side of uh, the street 
and I'm just using the same uh, live stream that I have hooked up for the day the first one and uh, just within minutes of dropping the line uh, I felt the uh, the hit from the mangrove jack it was a good size mangrove jack uh, and initially the fish was uh, you know pulling so hard uh, good that my drag is you know I kept it tight and uh, we're not giving too much of a space for the, the mangrove jack to to move around to hide to other places uh, and uh, I'm still filled with lots of adrenaline from the fight so it was uh, it was really good it was really good and my friend Amos helped to net the fish uh, initially it seemed like the mangrove jack was snagged somewhere but because uh, it was uh, you saw in the, the video, the uh, the rod is just bending like 90 degrees downwards uh, and we thought it's, and it's very very tight so we thought uh, you know it might have been snagged but no you know it was actually still on gave it a few taps on the line because uh, I thought it was snagged to free it from the snag but uh, we didn't actually have, need that alright so we got one uh, the mango jack now it's uh, um, uh, safely capped with uh, Gavin he has the equipment I am here as a visitor my stringer my equipment's not uh, not here and definitely not uh, not well equipped you know to get uh, sea fishing so all thanks to these two folks uh, Gavin and Amos you know the the veteran anglers of kayak fishing in Singapore willing to check me out and show me the ropes uh, and got me my very first fish here extremely happy with the outcome even if it's just one fish very very happy with that right we're gonna go back to the same spot and uh, try to see if we get uh, you know more fish so we're gonna enjoy a short lunch here by the Kelong this is uh, local food, nasi lemak, which is basically uh, literal translation, fat rice. It's made with infused with uh, flavors of coconut milk. Mm. So. comes with a fried egg and fried chicken and a cucumber tasty food it's a staple in uh, the Malay community Chinese people we eat it too all done eating <coughs> gonna wash that and let's seal them up down with some water fantastic meal about the Kelong Now it's probably 12 noon or you know an hour or two after that. Oh, it's just scorching hot here. I had to feel my feet and my shins burning. And this is the, uh, the type of heat we are talking about in Singapore. Come back. So this is a different Kelong. Yeah, the folks said the other one wasn't too happy with uh, sticking too close to the Kelong. I couldn't understand his language, uh, so we decided to move away. After all, this is their property. We don't want to infringe on their rights. Right. Oh, there's a little puppy on this one. See a white and brown dog. Quite friendly. He's not barking at me yet. Hey, folks. Shay Chan TV again. Ah, you know, I'm so dehydrated and hot. I had to take a break by one of these Kelongs here. And thankfully, uh, the staff worker here is nice enough to let me just park here and he even give me a bottle of water so that I could rest and just recover. Ooh, you know, this heat here in Singapore is not, it's not a joke, man. So we are on our way back, uh, it's about, about 3 o'clock p.m. Scorching hot and 
come to the end of the kayak rental got uh, the party got quite a lot of fishes I got one to add uh, but the rest of them they had uh, three to four fishes each so it's been a good day so far and once we get back to shore uh, landed our boats I can show you the fishes so this is our catches for today five mango jacks and one catfish our string up I think we have about 20 pounds of uh, 30 pounds of fish here yeah. So here's my buddy over here who caught all the fishes. Not the me, fish not me. king. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 